Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the LCPDFR mod correctly on your PC, laptop or whatever you have. You need to have the Steam version of GTA Online, so make sure you have that, the Steam version. So it needs to be in your library. Not on a CD or disc, maybe work also, but not in this explanation, probably. So, the first thing that you probably have done, if you're like... Um, downloading the LCPDFR mod and it isn't working, you just look for LCPDFR and then just like this one, GTA 5 mods, and then you will like looking around while well, it's standing over here from Sam. Make sure you have that, just download that, um, just do um, um, automatically install, just get to, to, to the settings and then you probably have more files in your GTA 5 folder that are right over here than normally. But if you just run GTA 5, it isn't gonna work though. It's just even crashing your whole game because you added files or just not reading them. Because you need a program to run the program on GTA, if you know what I mean. You need a program to run mods on GTA. So in that program called Rash Plugin Hook is this one. Make sure you go to downloads and then make sure you have got the last version because it won't work if you got an old version. Also make sure your GTA has been updated. So just make sure it has been updated. Otherwise it won't work also. So everything needs to be updated. If you just download this drag it into your steam folder uh, in your gta 5 folder right here and then you just need to press on rash plugin hook because you drag that in and then you just got like a menu and normally gta um, lcpdfr mod will run normally if you're just loading story mode well with that mod, you can it's it's like a Rajas plugin hook. You can open a mod menu. You can repair cars, heal yourself. You can teleport to wave points, all that kind of stuff you can do. But if your um, LCPD of our mod is crashed, have been crashed because you're running out of memory or something like that, um, you just don't worry. You don't you don't need to restart your whole game because that's probably taking a while loading all that mods in. You just press on F4, and that's your mod menu. You can press repair if you're in art. If you're in a car, your car will be repaired. But you just tap re uh, reload all plugins. What it actually do is it's reloading your all your all your plugins. So you don't need to restart it all over again. You're just reloading it. It's been crashed. So. Congratulations, you have now LCPFR. So that's basically what it is. You need to have this program. Link will be in the description below. And this one, um, this one. But if you want, like, you want, like, the, the this extra things, like uh, cars, I don't know, I need to see that. But maybe another video about this, I'm not for sure. If you want like the radio because it's really expanding a lot, or extra callouts like store robberies or ground theft, auto bank heist, and that kind of stuff, you need to do it another way. So you just press on that one, just press and download that, just download the last version, not the old version, make sure you have the updated version. So, it's, I think this is a store, this is a store, and this is a store, yeah, should be good, yeah, okay. Okay. Now, oh, one minute, really? I'm just gonna pause it. Okay, we're back. This has been downloaded. What you got here, you got callouts. You just go to Grand Theft Auto. What you actually need to do is this is all it's just trash, if you know what I mean. It's just the explanation, the license, and all that kind of stuff. You don't need that. And 
did just a video explaining like, oh, thank you for installing this and that kind of shit. I don't know. What you really need to do is, you got this LCB, this screen. You need to drag this map with LCPDFR. If you're seeing, and you have done every step what I did, you also see the, the map LCPDFR. Then you got this one. Do the same with this. And I'm just gonna split screen it. So just open that. And then you need to drag this into that one. The same map in a map, if you know what I mean. So just drag that, not that map, but this map. Make sure it's this map in the LCPDFR. You got what I you see, you know what I'm saying? Then plugins, just do the same. You need to have plugins. It's this one. Just open plugins and drag this one map into this thing. And then this finally, you just need to be located in the ground theft out of folder. So just drag this into that. Just like that, but I got it already. So just do that. Yeah, well, you now successfully downloaded it. So congratulations again. <laughs> But you can do like this one, police radio, plate checking, corner, that kind of stuff. Just do the same. You need to make sure you have the last version. This is 55.2, it's 55.1, gonna point two. Check I'm not a robot. Image stores. Okay. You just need to do the same. Come on. Okay, that's fast. So you got here again. We're just gonna split screen it. Here you got the Grand Theft Auto folder. It's actually like similar to this one. And then you got the map plugins. Open that on both sides too. Oh, that. Then you got LCPDFR. You got that map too then. And then you just see, no, no, you don't normally don't, don't have that map. Just, if you don't have that map, if you have that map, just open them both. Just drag this all into this one. Should have it, but I have it already. So I'm just gonna replace it. So the all been set. If you don't have the LCPDFR map already, just drag it in, this in. Should be straightforward. So, that's basically it. You have actually now installed your radio menu on the mod. You just want to run it. Well, if it's a plugin in the LCPD format. So if you're gonna run again, like um, boom, 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 this one, rise plugin hook, this one, make sure you, you just open it. Just see, um, LCPD format will run, but if you go on duty, so you, you're going to a police station, go on duty. A few seconds after you went on duty, rolling down in the street in your car, there will be a notification like this plugin has been loaded. Like right now, that plugin has been loaded. And then you successfully loaded the plugin. So, on that moment, the plugin will be active and can be used. So, if you press on C, you got normally the radio menu that's on that side so thanks for watching guys all links for this will be in the description below see you next time